Today, we will review the second quarter report, which helps us to understand how Partners in Care is meeting its charge. The announcement of the expansion of the so-called Partners in Care program came during a meeting of stakeholders late last week. We realized that Partners in Care enjoys a level of popularity that we did not anticipate. It is the right resource at the right time. And certainly last week's tragic incident demonstrates the importance of this work. Questions still remain about why a mental health expert was not able to be at the scene of I-65 last month when officers shot and killed Landon Estep after about a half hour of talking with him. When police say Estep quickly pulled a metal object from his pocket that turned out not to be a gun. His wife had previously reported that Estep saw delusions. And this wasn't the only time in the past year police have responded to situations with people likely experiencing psychosis. Right now, the mayor's office says the Partners in Care pilot program is only staffed mornings and afternoons on weekdays in the Hermitage and North Police precincts, though they say help is available in other precincts and on the weekends if needed. We are working on new services in the central precinct to start before the new fiscal year and additional resources elsewhere in the county. As part of the expansion, the mayor's office says they hope to train 550 police officers in crisis intervention over the next three years. One member of the mental health cooperative explains what that looks like on the scene. The more information I can get about a person, the more conversation I can have with them, the better decision we can make about their care. Uh, And it's a partnership. You want them to be involved in their care. With the expansion, the city says the hope is to get even more help out across the city as the program enters its first full year as a pilot project. Jason Lamb, News Channel 5.